Right, let's see how this goes. So notice it's a 40 zone, it's a bit close to the cars. There's a car oh, coming out and it, and it's very cautious. Now it's not gonna, okay, oh, there's a cardboard box as well. Just hit the car, great. Sometimes you need to give, okay, so it's indicating right and it's gonna, okay, it knows it's slow, so it's gonna, right, right, oh, okay. It's doing it a bit late. Um, and it's it's found that gap. It just wants to barge in. Traffic is slowing, so okay. So it's gonna oh, yeah. Okay, so it was gonna go into uh, using all of the lane. Okay, so it's doing it now. Okay, so interesting. So there's a I load next to me, but it's sort of forcing its way in as we're passing a, a Brisbane Metro bus here. Um, what is the point? of full self-driving in, in a personal vehicle from a sustainability perspective if we do want to you know reduce our you know footprint and uh, reduce our traffic congestion as well um, it is uh, just makes much more sense to uh, just take public transport okay it's in the keep clear zone now uh, not 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 ideal uh, I thought it would read it uh, but doesn't seem like it is having said that driver next to me oh there's a Lexus that wants to uh, has picked the wrong lane and wants to come in does this car know it, it feels like it's giving a gap for this Lexus to this street on the right no cars coming pedestrian crossing it knows it knows and it slowed down for for her i don't think you can drive 50 here okay so okay so it's going to pull pull over here um and it's just going to stop right interesting because the okay and it just stopped but really my main concern here is complacency i think this will be the true test trusting tesla owners to do the right thing Head over to henryman.net for more.